right huns there is nothing and i mean nothing i despise more in this world than packing oh my gosh it's the bane of my life love going away i love choosing my outfits i love ordering things do i like to do the absolute manual labor of packing stuff into a suitcase oh no i bloody hate it so i thought today we could do it together like make it a cute little pack with me video just make it a bit more fun a bit more interactive i'm going to show you the outfits and bikinis i'm taking like how i pack all that jazz so yeah look at me literally trying to hype myself up to get on with this oh stop messing around i need to play like I have the tiger or something like <clears throat> I need to be like Troy Bolton and get my head in the fucking game lads I ordered these off of Amazon oh my god I feel like the most prepared girl in the world packing cubes and honestly I'm not gonna lie I saw them on TikTok and I'm a very easily influenced human and I thought again this would make it more fun you get loads I think they were only like $8.99 you can get loads of different colours and you can do like one for pants, one for products, and one for day outfits, one for night outfits, one for your curlers, like, and it just fits into your suitcase apparently a lot better. So I'm gonna attempt to be an organized queen as well. I'm actually gonna go ahead and start with swimwear. One, because obviously it's a bit triggering and it's like the time we all dread every summer, like seeing ourselves in a bikini, but I did order some really cute new ones to get me ready for me holidays. I'm going to Lisbon, which, you know, if you've followed me for a while, I have been twice. It's just my favorite place. It's just the energy there is unmatched. But there isn't like a beach, because it's a city. You have to get like a half hour Uber to the beach clubs, but me and Izzy were like, fuck it, let's just invest and get a hotel with a pool. Like it's like an apartment hotel and the rooftop has a pool. Um, it was a little bit more expensive, not that much more. I think we're paying 270 each, 260 each for like four nights, five days with a pool. I was like, I'm sorry, it's gonna be 30 degrees heat. I can't even stand when it's 20 degrees in London, let alone 30. I'm gonna need a pool. So I ordered some bikinis and I need to find one that's appropriate for the beach club too. So I ordered some from Salty Bottom Swim. They're a small business. Her pieces are incredible. I got loads last year. I wore loads of them on the show and literally this year did not disappoint. Like look at this print. It's like a gingham with lemon. So let's try it on and I hope that it fits. This is the bikini on and oh my god it fits so good. It's so cute. I feel like this sort of tie side and triangle shape are flattering on every body type because you can like adjust it on the hips. You can change the like bikini top and look you can also get the sarong which I always do because I just find it a bit more flattering like my main insecurity is my stomach so just putting on a little skirt see makes me feel really good like walking over to get my cocktails hey hey and that print is so lisbon it's so european summer so yeah for sure this is coming with me i'll put links to everything and like sizes below but i'm sure i got medium medium and medium for everything um yeah just gorgeous and obviously it's nice to support a small business too and what i love about swimwear is when they come in these bags because you can use these for like dirty laundry or for when your bikini is wet on holiday oh my god that print is so nice too little patchwork moment and then i love the shape of this one i think it's so different and unique again i feel like pastel colors for me are just like my go-to with bikinis in the summer like i think that just looks gorge the bottoms are very um teeny tiny so you can make sure you size up they don't they also do like fuller brief bottoms these ones are more of the high like thong ones so it's a little bit more risque good for tanning though and this top i feel like it's quite flattering so at the back it's a tie but it's more like a bra like it has underwiring so it's a bit more supportive also i feel like if you have smaller boobs because of the padding and the shape of this it will make you look like you have a bit more volume up there so yeah look at the pattern it's really nice and unique like i've not seen a bikini like that before these as i mentioned are just incredible quality all my ones from last year are still in tip top shape and i've worn them in the sea in the pool multiple times especially when i was filming written in the stars and they're immaculate and i can't say that about all of the cheaper bikinis i've bought before and finally from them i have this lovely 
beachy cover up i wish you could feel this material it is gorgeous it's so soft and like it's like netted it's premium it's giving like hippie 60s free love energy and i love that it's not too see-through like you can see your bikini under but it would still be appropriate to like walk around in um and also you could you could literally wear this on oh my god oh my god honestly my soul just left my body like i, I honestly Right, we keep moving. You could wear this like on a day out if you wore something a bit more covered up, like maybe a crop top and a skirt or shorts or something. But I love, love, love it. Oh my God, I, I always love everything from them. It's just amazing. I got this in a small because it does run like a little stretchy and large, but yeah, beautiful. All of these items will be coming to Lisbon with me. Next, I ordered a bikini from a brand called We Are We Wear. I've heard so many good things, especially because their size range is amazing. So it goes from extra small to like 3XL. So there'll be something for everybody and they don't change the price based on the bigger sizes or anything like that and this print it looks really cool so i'm very intrigued and i hope it looks good <gasps> this is so cute i love the print i think that is so sexy and i love when you get like matching accessories like you can also get the hairband i just think it makes it a little bit more extra a little bit more fun it feels really good quality i think it's a bit more affordable which is good what i will say is there is so much material in the cup like the sizing is really good i've tied it this way just to like show that you can tie bikinis in so many different ways like have fun with it but genuinely look like how much material in the medium like you can make it a bit more like demure if you like so i wear like a d e f cup and a medium i'd say is a little bit too big like i could easily size down to the small so just goes to show they've got good size range and of course i got the matching sarong because who do you think i am like underlay 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 cute right um it is one size though so it's a lot of material compared to like the salty bottom one but i feel like you can still yeah like adjust it and make it work. Oh my God, I'm ready for the beach party. Defo went a bit ham with the bikinis. I just, I love swimwear, like it's everything. I live for it, it makes me feel confident and good. So I got this little blue set from Pink Soda Sport and it has like a mesh dress. Pink Soda Sport, they've really upped their game this season. So I'm expecting big things. See, I didn't think I would be like a bando top girl, but this is cute and it's very supportive of your boobs actually. It's actually a one shoulder situation so a bit more fun i'm just not over the swirl print like i think it's still cute and i prefer to have fun with my swimwear rather than just go and play and i feel like it's the one time in your life where you can be you know a bit jazzy especially on a girl's holiday but this also has a dress the bottoms by the way i get a 12 and they fit me really well i probably could have got a 10 and then i do get a 10 in the top look i am a sucker for a little cover-up because i just think when you have your whole outfit you know it just it just makes you feel like that be like that girl rocking up to the party oh this is cute this is cute it's like a little mesh dress is it see-through not really that see-through you know it's a, it's actually lush get me to ibiza right now because this is gorge this is a gorgina also from pink soda sport ah, okay barbie she's everything he's just ken like oh my god hot pink is my vibe like is pink my aura color like sharpe evans maybe but yeah again it's just a classic tie side sorry all my bikinis are literally the same because i am obsessed with the shape i think it's the most flattering but i love that you can get the little mesh skirt with it this one i might not take because i don't actually need that many bikinis but i do have another holiday a bit later with my other friends which is more of like girls well lads 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 let's get drunk go to beach parties kind of vibe so i think i might save that for for then but i mean it is damn cute huh okay and lastly we need to talk about this set because i didn't think i was gonna love this as much as i do like i'm sorry it's serving body oddy oddy this is perfect for people who want like a more functional bikini or don't want to have their whole like bum and boobs out because it's a little bit more like demure but it's still like pushing the boobs up loads and it's sucking my waist in because it's high waist like oh i'm sorry i think that's unreal and it gets even better because they also have a thing called a swim skirt look at this 
I got this more to be like an outfit like it's giving like tennis like sports vibe energy imagine we're just like little white trainers or something so flattering but also if you are someone who's nervous to like get your body out get a skirt that you can wear in a pool like who actually cares like what a brilliant idea I do have a discount code for pink soda sport if you fancy anything huns it's Sadie 20 remember they do like really nice loungewear like probably the white set I was wearing in the beginning is what I'm going to wear to the airport and of course sportswear you just go have a look just just go treat yourself babes go do it See, there was no reason for that to turn into a full-on fashion show, but I think this is going to be me, like, trying on stuff, working out what I'm going to wear. But we need to pack the bikinis. I definitely don't need more than four. Four is probably even a push, but it's better to be prepared. And look, you get this little drawstring bag in the Amazon packing cube. So definitely going to take the salty bottom one to get that in there. I think the We Are Wear one, like, this sort of pattern, is very Lisbon energy. I'm thinking I could wear that to the beach day. I might save this one for my other girl's holiday because it's a bit more fun and this one's a bit more like serious like cool girl I actually might take that pink soda black one because it's just so flattering and then of course this because I just think it's the most gorgeous thing ever from Salty Bottom Swim oh see look it just about all fits swimwear done we can pack that in our hands. We're getting somewhere. I just got a new dress from this brand called Forever New. I think it's an Australian brand. And honestly, they do the nicest quality pieces. Like this dress feels so thick. I need four day outfits and potentially four night outfits. Maybe five day outfits. Oh, I'm hoping I can get some things that interchange. But yeah, they are a little bit more expensive. If you could feel this material. And I feel like this little black tea dress it's very, very timeless. You're going to be able to wear that for years and years. So many of my summer clothes I've kept for like years. And I think this is just going to be a staple like with DM sandals. But I do want to just quickly try it on. This is the dress on. And oh my god. I absolutely love it. It feels so nice on me. Really good material. And like it's thick. Like it's heavy duty. Like you know it's not just from some cheap brand. It's got little puff sleeves and a nice sweetheart neckline i just feel i like that it's black too i feel like i don't have any black dresses and i just think it makes you look classy it would be appropriate for the day but it also i feel like to a nice dinner with a red lip it's a little long on me like i do prefer shorter dresses but if you are a tall queen this will probably be perfect on you i've got the dm sandals which they're really really nice edgy especially because i can't wear heels i really wanted to invest in like nice flats obviously they do have a little bit of a platform but it's not the platform ones the only thing is these take so long to wear in and i'm a bit stressed at how much walking i'm going to do in lisbon and i just don't know if it's the right thing to do obviously i could plaster up i really want you to be able to see the shoes so here we go i think they just look so nice with the black dress i just love little tea day dresses like this so yeah what do we think? Do you think I risk it or do you think I should just be a sensible Sally? Next up, I actually found this dress on a TikTok shop from a brand called Sido. I don't know if you've heard of them, but it's so affordable. It's just like this bandeau, almost looks like a play suit, khaki like shirt material. I think it's going to be really like cool and it's just giving like Lisbon city break energy I can wear it with like my DM so let's hope it fits nicely okay it's definitely gonna need a steam but this is cute this is the exact kind of vibe I want like it's flattering it's high in the stomach I like the little ruffle skirt it's kind of giving like Tinkerbell energy do you know what I mean and I love a bandeau it's just gonna keep you cool in the sun as well I think they had loads of colors too so if you don't want it in this color but like the shape definitely check them out mm, okay that's already two day outfits we're smashing through this this week i also ventured into a shop that i never go in which is urban outfitters i always feel like their sizing is too small for me it's or it's more for like younger gen z but to be fair their outfits were giving like pixie pinterest y2k like everything i want to embody on my holiday so i got this really cool asymmetric skirt and then also this little 
dainty like baby doll kind of vibe top i really like the colors like the muted tones and it actually goes really cute together so i'll show you see i just think that is so sweet and so cute like quite different for me actually but i love that the skirt goes longer on one side it's a really nice material like this outfit's definitely going to keep me cool in the day because it's going to be 30 degrees i'm going to melt i'm going to be melting like the wicked witch of the west in that heat i've had to buy a fan because i can't hack it so it's like really nice light colors this top little cami oh my god it's so delicate and pretty like i'm in love with this and i feel like there's so many other ways i'm going to be able to style both these pieces for the rest of the summer and their sizing really surprised me like this top is in a small i really thought they were gonna do me day but it didn't like and their changing rooms are really nice i'm a convert i understand why people like urban outfits now like i'm always gonna check in there and yeah some of you might be like this is way too dressy for the daytime but i don't care just let me live my dressy life like i know i'm ridiculous you could definitely wear this on a night out in lisbon too let's be real you could this i also got from tiktok shop and it's giving body 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 it is a maxi dress but the best part i'm quite scared of maxi dresses but because it's so slinky i find it flattering um can we just take a minute for the back oh my god it makes your bum look so good like i really don't have a bum but i love that it like shows off my tattoo and like the straps loop around like this so it's super super flattering and i think it was literally 13.99 it's from this brand called catch me i will link it and you can't really see but it's not too long and i'm five foot three which is perfect for me There's loads of colors i might actually try and get the yellow one as well because i just love it so damn much this set from mistress rocks is giving like house on the prairie frolicking through the fields vibes and i love it oh let me just get it on to show you because i feel like it doesn't do it justice on the hanger oh! The hills are in line with the sound of music. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's what it's giving. Like, get, find me a hill to run up. Find me a field of wheat to frolic through. This is gorgeous, right? These skirts are really on trend at the moment. It has like a mesh lace panel, so it doesn't like swamp you. And it's not too long. Like, it is a maxi one, but it goes to my ankles. I'm very short, so yeah it's working for me i never thought i'd wear something like this but it does make me feel like a princess the top is a little bit too tight i got it in a small and i wish i got a medium so if you have bigger boobs just remember to size up if you want to get this it's from mistress frocks but am i really going to want to wear this in the sweaty heat i don't know i feel like i'm struggling now i've got three good daytime outfits and now i'm like i'm starting to scramble for my wardrobe and kind of like oh oh i don't know babes now for like night outfits i know what you're thinking this could also be a day outfit this is from mistress rocks and it's giving like nighty energy it's got these lace panels and it's this unreal satin material i just think it's so cute and with a tan like going for dinner drinking some sangria like i don't know i just love this this is everything i wanted i've had it for a while i haven't got to wear it yet so let's go this is another dress i'm taking to wear on like a night out bar crawl thinking i could wear this to like pink street because it's pink it's from house of cb and it does up honestly like a corset so it's so nice you can like adjust how tight you want it it's just so flattering obviously their dresses are more expensive but i do think it pays off in the quality like this is the detailing i love the baby pink color I usually wear it with strap this bra just to give me a little bit more lift in the boobs but yeah i'll definitely be getting some good wear out of this i have already wore it in london but everything's just better in the sun i wear a medium with the bigger cup by the way i got this dress a little while ago from white fox boutique and i think it's so gorgeous especially for holiday just with the colors and it's definitely giving more like night time the only issue is it is a little bit short and i just think if i'm dancing or whatever you're gonna see me bone crack and i don't know if i want that on me all day to be honest loves um but apart from that it's gorgeous really flattering like on the boobs and stuff like i love the ruffles i mean maybe i could wear little shorts or maybe i could just wear it to a dinner not a night out but with me and izzy most likely it's gonna end up being a night out but i think i'll pack it i'll just have to suck in 
the whole night and probably flash everyone but oh well finally i'm gonna be taking this one so yeah i'm really on the like little cute summery dress hype this is from motel it's like blue snakeskin asymmetric and the back is low which is really cute it's just dainty and nice but still a bit different and sexy i love the color I have ordered some bits on Opoly, which I really hope arrive before the holiday because I feel like I like this stuff, but it's not like exciting me as much as maybe the new thing. It's definitely a toxic trait of mine, but I'll keep you updated if it arrives. If not, at least I have like other night out options. On holiday, I always want to have like really cute pajamas because I feel like it's the time you get to show them off and it just makes you feel nice when you wake up, you know, go and have my coffee, get my croissant or pasta del nata because portugal but yeah these are from primark this little lemon satin set it has like a little tie thing here it's really delicate like lace and these cute little shorts the color is to die for and it was so affordable obviously because it's from primark like i couldn't not get it like i think it's just gorgeous i saw a girl wear this top with literally white denim shorts so you could definitely style it up to wear like actually as a top it's just Oh, it's just so damn cute. I can't wait to open my balcony like, hey. <laughs> I'm also going to take this gorgeous Victoria's Secrets robe because I just feel like, you know, when you're having a pre-drink, playing Uno with the gals, just like chilling in your room or when you're getting out the shower, like I just want something I can throw on. And I mean, this is just too damn nice not to show off. Like it's yellow with these pink flowers. It genuinely makes, yeah, it makes me feel like a trophy wife. So the feeling of it, the quality of the VS robes is actually unbeatable. Like it is stunning. So yeah, that will be getting packed. Let's get this little case open then. This is from Primark. I've had it for years, but I don't want to say it's trustworthy. Like it is really trustworthy, but I know if I say that out loud, it probably will break. So let's just pretend I didn't say it, but it's really good. These are cubes have honestly just made me so happy. I'm gonna put all of my going out clothes into this one. And now I'm just gonna pack all of the daytime outfits into one of these cubes, like in order. And also just making sure I get all the tags and stuff off, like things I don't wanna be dealing with on holiday. I reckon they, these are gonna be able to fit so much in as well. In another life, I'd be rich enough to have someone pack for me because genuinely, like I'm not even joking, I just, find it so mentally draining to try and think of everything I'm gonna wear and like what I'm gonna need and I always forget something and I always panic. <gasps> Actually, where is my list? I'm sure I wrote a list. Okay, I'm appointing this the toiletry bag. So we've got Mod Vanilla Perfume. We've got Shore Deodorant. Obviously sun cream, but worried because I've lost the lid. Do you know when that happens? Like that's not the lid. Where the bloody hell is the lid? I'm worried it's gonna like squirt in the bag, but I mean, at this point, oh, I could just, could just buy sunscreen at the airport i might just fucking do that do you know what i actually might just do that i got this little hair turban at primark yesterday for three pound oh my god i thought that would be really good when i get out of the shower i forgot i got these so i don't need to take all my toiletries Ugh. oh my god the little spatula and everything this was literally a pound 50 from primark so let's start filling it up i'm gonna do this squeezy one as body cream so we're gonna try and get this somehow they use that little spatula maybe I don't know how long we'll be here probably all night if i do it like this how do you decant oh that's such a nice word decant i mean do you know what it's probably just easier to take the whole bloody thing thing is i literally can't live without cream on holiday this is the barry m marshmallow one it is so nice mm. and i just want my legs to feel like supple and moist and if you want to keep a tan you want to stay moisturized like you know when you get out of the shower so to be fair, this is taking me hours, but it is an essential part of my holiday packing routine. Now I'm sorry, that took me like an hour, but I'm proper impressed with that. I'm gonna have real moisturized skin in Lisbon now. On to the next thing. I'm also gonna get these shampoo and conditioner into the little ones as well, because then, you know, I'm not gonna wash my hair that much, probably only like twice. This is gonna be satisfying. Come on. Oh. Get in there, little. Oh, it farted. Shit. <laughs> Jesus. Conditioner, let's see if this one squirts better. God, that's what she said. Don't say that. No, they're a bit hard to get out, to be honest. Genuinely, I don't know why I'm wasting all my time doing this. Like, it's actually getting dark. 
Okay, so we have shampoo, conditioner, cream, all of left. I put my face serum in this one because I don't want to bring the whole bottle. And I put heat protect in this one because it's something I don't really think to bring on holiday, but it's obviously important because not only is like your curl is damaged in your hair, but also the sun, like the UV is fucking up your hair. So I must stay protected. My face SPF from Dr. Pawpaw, my lip stuff from Dr. Pawpaw, my Kills eye cream, gotta stay hydrated. I do actually want to bring like a little volumizing spray because I just can't imagine, you know, blow drying my hair and not having any styling stuff on it. I need a hairbrush, a scrunchie. I need to get some paracetamol. I've got antihistamines for my nut allergy already. But yeah, I need a little bit more. Like, I might also bring like vitamin C drinks because obviously we're going to be drinking. I want to stay hydrated. <sighs> my little hair clips to get my hair out of my face when I'm doing my makeup. Those are an essential. Hairspray is essential. This is something I always forget to pack. And whenever I ask my friends, they never have any. And I'm like, what good are you as friends if you don't bring the stuff I forget? Do you know what I'm fucking saying? So yeah, the Lee Stafford flexible one is so good. God, there's still so much space to fit stuff. These are really, really good. I won't completely do it up because I do need to put my toothbrush in. I'm not leaving until tomorrow. I need to be able to brush my teeth tonight, so we'll just do that tomorrow morning pants knickers i would love to say i'm gonna pack all my sexy ones but no i'm gonna pack classic primark lacy one pound thongs they're just comfy they don't show up under my clothes and i'm gonna be wearing a lot of skimpy stuff so i just want to be completely comfortable i have got one little lounge one there so i'm just gonna put that in with the jammies and i have to this is honestly an essential in my life the victoria's secrets multi-way bra it's literally like wearing butter like i can't even explain to you how soft this is pushes your boob up it goes under any dress and you can literally adjust the straps like to make it backless anything you want to do this bra will bloody do it i swear by it now shoes wise i think i'm only going to take three pairs so i'm going to risk it and take the dm sandals like they need to be worn in and they're just gorgeous they are a lot of money and i want to start wearing them the whole summer and they go with all my cute summery dresses and i can't wear heels so there's not many options for me so we're gonna put them in there. I recently also got these, New Balance. I've never had a pair. New Balance 530s, the comfiest trainers ever, but they're so white and fresh. I feel like they're just gonna get ruined in Lisbon. So maybe I'll just bring the Nikes, I don't know. Why do they stink already? Like I need to get some crap, fresh spray or whatever. Then just for like by the pool or like pop into the shops, I'm gonna get like some slip on little flip flops. These are from Primark. They were so cheap, they were five pound. But you need to like really size up. Like I got a six, I'm a five, I got a six and they're still a bit small. Like, I don't know, I feel flip flops are a bit like that sometimes. But yeah, just some classic pastel flip flops. All right, we're gonna need a beach towel. I got this cute little stripey one from TK Maxx which I'm gonna run to the deck chairs by the pool and claim my space, joking. Oh my God, joking, oh my God. I just like had a little vegetable samosas in the oven and like, oh fuck me, it's making me hiccup. Yeah, oh shut up, hiccuping is so, it makes me so angry. My hand luggage, I'm literally just gonna take this massive tote from Pink Soda, I love it, I use it to do my food shopping just cause it's like, I prefer it over my arm than like a big carry-on bag, especially when I've got a big suitcase books essential i'm going to be reading the prequel to the hunger games the band of songbirds and snakes apparently it's about like president snow before he was evil like back when he was like creating the games and i think he falls in love with someone from district 13 so bit of ya fiction for you and then this one for like my self-help vibes i'm halfway through 101 essays to change the way you think by brianna west she is without a doubt my favorite author every time i read her books i just feel like a whole new person and like i can conquer life so definitely taking that put plasters in my wash bag because those dms dr martin sandals are gonna be at my feet passport have a really cute passport holder oh my god why have i still got all the tickets from wherever i went where did i go easy jet say 10th of august where would i have gone on then probably ibifa i've been away in literally nearly a year god i got the cutest new jewelry from this brand called joma jewelry never heard of them but they're actually so affordable and they have so much cute stuff honestly i'm just gonna power through because these hiccups won't stop someone scare me that's the only way to get rid of hiccups i haven't got loads of silver jewelry so i wanted something silver but i love these kind of beads stuff like this is so cute when you're wearing a bikini it's just giving all the beachy vibes but i might actually put all my jewelry into this little box just to keep it 
safe and hopefully like stop it from tangling and getting lost in my bag so put that in there i'll definitely take the jewelry i'm wearing this is from boho moon and these are from asos i take my little crystal bracelet from tinker link this is the adventuring one just gives you like good luck and positive energy i usually have this on me when i'm doing important stuff like traveling and things um of course i'm gonna take my swarovski necklace i don't know if you've seen it but it's the only like expensive piece of jewelry i own and it's just <laughs> my favorite thing in the whole world it's like this rose gold choker with Swarovski crystals and it's got like an evil eye a good luck charm I just think it's so dainty for earrings I love these shells like if we're going for a beach day it's a bit OTT but I don't care like we're on holiday babes these little blue hoops from Primark again just nice for a pop of color these also from Primark like gold but they have little pearls dangling studded pearl hoops also from Primark and then finally, we have this layered necklace, again, from Primark. I get loads of cute, cute jewelry from there. Nice for the beach or nice with, like, going out dresses. Really, really cute. Makeup is going to take me ages, so I'm not going to show you every single thing. I'm just going to pick out a few of my current faves. And look how gorgeous is this makeup bag from the Flat Lake Co. Like, got little butterflies. So when you open it out on a bed, you can open it like this. So it literally goes flat, which is good for someone like me who has so much bloody makeup. Obviously the e.l.f. power grip is going to keep my makeup on in the heat as well as the Laura Mercier translucent setting spray. I did not believe in setting spray until I tried this. Like damn, it sticks to your face like glue. Really loving the new KVD Good Apple Serum Foundation. This will be perfect for nights out. And in the day I think I'll wear like a serum or just like the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. The collection bronzer, it's like a dupe for Tan de Soleil. This is so nice. I've got it on today. It's so nice and subtle like... Gives you like a sun-kissed bronze but doesn't look like a harsh contour. That would be so good for like a beach day where I don't want to wear loads of makeup. My Rare Beauty Hope Blusher. Again, wearing it today. It's just quite a subtle collection. Filter finish highlight ones. It's a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury and they are blinding. Like so gorgeous. Same with the blusher. It's a dupe for Pink Gasm. NYX Bear With Me Concealer. Love, love, love this concealer because it's similar to my tan skin tone. It's not too light. Like I don't want to look like I'm wearing too much makeup. So this is like a nice lightweight concealer but still covers. The Refi Brow Tint. Again, when you don't want like a harsh brow but just want to run something through this is really really good because it sticks them up but also gives them a, like a subtle tin and the refi brow stuff is just the shit this i think is so so sweet so nice when i don't want to take loads of palettes with me it's the naked i think it's the sin the little mini sin palette look you just get those colors but they're the kind of colors i would wear all the time so i think this is just so good like traveling i don't need to take every single palette i own obviously i'm gonna need loads of powder so i'm gonna take huda beauty cupcake and the trigwell little powder puff it really does work to just like push powder into your skin the lips it has to be the fenty fussy gloss again i've got it on now and i just think it's juicy delicious for holiday mac well liner i don't go anywhere without it it's just the best fucking lip liner you will ever use and then this is one of my new favorite things it's the elf no budge shadow stick i have loads of colors so i might bring this champagne gold one and the brown one and it's just quite a quick easy like smudgy effortless eyeshadow you don't have to like work it in loads so i need to make sure i pack my um, makeup brushes too just quickly before i go i want to show you the handbags i'm taking i don't want to take too many of my like expensive designer bags just because i don't want to lose them or like them get battered and i don't think they really go with my outfits they're quite like city vibes so this is one of my fave going out bags literally so plain just from primark just fits over the shoulder you can fit so many things in it a power bank your phone like makeup everything you need for a night out and i just think it goes with like every outfit so that would definitely come with me this one i want to be a bit more fun this is also from primark and it's giving like holiday vibes because it's like rattan there's like the bright pink just gives a cute little pop and i'm really into minds whether to bring the coach pillow tabby i have it in this like peachy shade it is so gorgeous and it's so lisbon like the walls in lisbon are this color but i'll be honest it just doesn't fit that much and on holiday like i need to at least be able to fit my phone do you know what i mean oh so maybe i leave it it's hard it's hard tons for airport outfit i think i'm literally just gonna wear something like this pink soda set like matching shorts and a top something that's not gonna be too cold in the morning in london but too warm when i get to lisbon to be honest i'm fucking knackered um i will add like a denim jacket at least just so i have some form of jacket i doubt i'll need it but i don't know if it's the 
mum and me being like you need to bring a jacket but yeah thank you so much for watching this i hope you got like fun holiday inspo i am literally so tired i need to eat as i fucking said i hate packing but thank you for watching this video i'm sure i've definitely forgot stuff i love the packing cubes i'll link everything below and hopefully next time you watch my channel i will be in lisbon yay thanks for watching babes have the best week